the last time you were here that you scared me? I got gotcha. you. Got, you You know how hard it is to try to scare me? Everyone's tried to scare me throughout the years, and I, don't, I just don't scare easily. And uh, the last time Steve was here, they got me good. This is Steve last time. You can catch our first guest every week on the hit NBC show, The Office. Take a look. To do a presentation to an international client. And I have always been intrigued by all things international. I couldn't think of anyone better to share my 900th show with. Please welcome. I love you, oh, yeah. no, no. Because of that, when Steve got here today, I was hiding in his dressing room in the bathroom, and I, I got it. him. I knew it. I'd sort of planned for it. I didn't know it was going to happen then. And I had something that I was going to try, but I thought maybe in really bad taste. Try scaring me right now. This is what I was going to do. Okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, God. Oh. Oh, I'm serious. I'm serious. Oh. I'm serious. And I was going to go, and I wasn't going to let oh, no. up. No, no, no. And I was going to make you cry. Yes. The thought that you'd actually done some damage to me. What or a horrible me a hard thing! To, don't ever do that to anyone. No, you never want to do that. I used to. I don't know if I told this story. I used to hide in the closet when my dad came home from work, and I'd hide behind the row of coats How to old scare were you? him. Uh, I guess I was like 26. <laughs> um, no, I was probably, probably like 11. Um, and I used to hide behind the row of coats, and he'd come in and he'd open the closet door and he'd push aside the coats, and I'd just go, <gasps> and and years later he actually did have a heart attack. Not, not when I did that, but I thought <laughs> maybe the key. Had I been the one to have induced that, not a good, good no. thing. Mm -mm. So just keep that in mind no. next time. How many times? <laughs> I'll never scare anyone again. You know, I stopped scaring people for a while, and then we got tons of people writing into the website saying, "Why did you stop scaring people? They love watching people get scared." It's so good. It's so it's fun. Such, to, you know like, what? When is? you were crawling here, wasn't that fun to crawl? It's so much fun because you know what? It's it's a person at their very essence. There's no. I liken it to when you're vomiting. You know, there's no, there's no pretense about it. No. It's exactly who you are in that second. There was, yeah. I live in a dorm in college, and one guy got the idea, I'm going to turn off the light in the elevator and crouch down in the corner. And so people would get on, and they wouldn't know where the light was, and the elevator doors would close, and they'd go up a few flights, and then all they'd feel is that. <laughs> And we'd hear shrieks going down the hallway. Just oh, uncontrollable. That's so fun, though. It was so much fun. Do you fun. like scary movies? Um, I don't like scary movies so much. No? But I, I do like seeing people. I would like to watch people watching a scary movie. Maybe we'll, let's make a movie like that. Let's okay. make a movie of people watching a scary movie. OK. OK. All right. We'll get Vance to produce it. <laughs> <laughs> Her brother Vance. Who, yeah. Oh, I was I was telling you the other day. Every time Vance and I worked on the Daily Show together, and we worked together uh, on, at this production company. Every time Vance calls my house, I pick up the phone. Hello, and he always says Nancy, <laughs> and which is my wife's name. And I'm like, No, it's me. I don't. Ah. And he does it every single time. He must have done this to me 20 times. Uh, Hello, Nancy? No, it's, ah! Uh, <laughs> like, I don't sound like, mm. uh, He's hilarious. Oh, he, yes. My brother's a funny guy. He is. And, uh, and your kids are, are four and six, is that right? Uh, they are five and eight. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Yeah, they're four and six. I haven't updated my, so my <laughs> files. Um, they're five and eight? They are five and eight. I was told there were six and nine on the card. <laughs> they're, they're about to be six and nine. <laughs> okay. Uh, they, and are, they are like two weeks away from six and nine. All right, let's call them six and nine. Wow, did we spend a lot of time on that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They're like that and that, right? Right, right. Really, I thought he was more like... Yeah, he's like there, and she's like there. Kind of like, yeah. So he's, he's taller. Um, he's shorter, but
but yeah, sure, he's tall. <laughs> and are they funny? No. <laughs> yeah, they are. Um, we, <laughs> Johnny, Johnny, we were in a store the other day, and Johnny wanted to buy some silly string. Johnny's nine. Johnny. <laughs> Right, six. Um, <laughs> and he wanted some silly string, and we were like, no, you know, honey, we're not gonna get silly string today. Please, please, Gary, I need some silly string. No, hon, we're not gonna get Where silly string. Where's he from? What country? <laughs> Was he adopted? We adopted him from Burbank. <laughs> uh -huh. Please, Dad, can I have some silly string? No, no, honey. And his response was, please, I will only use it in case of an emergency. <laughs> what? what possible emergency is he thinking in his mind, like, there will be robbers and I'll get them with silly string? <laughs> First you do that, <laughs> that, and then the silly string. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. Little seltzer water in the face. That's hilarious. And you didn't get it for him even after that? No, and then we yelled at him. Good. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're 15. Um, all right. We'll take a break. That is from the office. Do you know, um, very funny show. My, my friend Justin Guarini loves that show. That's a very, very a popular show. Everyone enjoys it. It's a very popular show. Yeah, yeah. Everyone loves it. Everyone loves it. It's a when, lovable show. The, your, your character is so, like, he's always very uptight, like the way, you know, he... What kind of shoes would you imagine? What is the character? Because I never see his feet. What kind of shoes does he wear? He wears loafers. Really? Yes. <laughs> or not. Sometimes he'll wear other types no, of shoes. No, loafers is good. Loafers? <laughs> Penny <laughs> loafers? <laughs> Say it, the more they get. No, no, right? that's all. That's all. That's all. <laughs> that was. I actually. <laughs> they still just get that. Um, that was fast. I had no idea you would say loafer or penny loafer in that amount of time. So we have extra time, which is good because uh, I want to congratulate you on uh, 15 years of marriage, your 15th wedding anniversary. <laughs> actually. It's, it's 50, 50 years ago. Oh, marriage. I thought it was 15. No, it's 50. Wow, y'all 50 both... years, can you believe no, it? No, I can't. I really can't. So 50 years. What is the secret for uh, 50 years of marriage between you and Nancy? You know what, Ellen? It's communication. <laughs> it's, being, it's being able to laugh uh -huh. and cry, uh -huh. but it's all about just the little things every day. Oh. Reminding each other that you care. <laughs> To write some of that down because mm -hmm. that communication. How do you spell communication? K. <laughs> yes. I'm out of ink. And All it's right. it's just mostly just a, a whole lot of love making. Really? Yeah. What's a whole lot to you? How often? What would you say is the best formula? Well, we um. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna divulge that, but a lot, just a lot. <laughs> Frankly, when, whenever you think of it, you just, you do. <laughs> oh, wow, you know what? Her parents are watching this. <laughs> and I feel really skeevy right now. Uh, all right, well, that's okay. They probably know you do it. Um, <laughs> they probably do. All right, so the, the, the modern uh, gift for uh, 15 years uh, is watches. Do you know that? No. It is. And so I wanted to give you and Nancy a gift. You right now. I'm assuming it's 15 and not 50. It's <laughs> it is 15. It's watches. It is 15. Yes. So I I know it. This is her watch. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And that's your watch. It just snaps right on. I love on. it. I. You know what? I'm going to wear this on the red carpet. Oh, that's right. <laughs> So that's 
You're despicable in this in this movie. I'm pretty evil, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm a despicable And that guy. was you speaking just now? That was me speaking. Yeah. What is that what is that accent? That's like your son's accent almost. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> yeah. It's it's sort of that that uh, Transylvanian Burbank thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> where, where did you find that voice? That was just a voice. We, we spent a little while at the beginning of the recording session just kind of playing around with different accents, and mm -hmm. that's the one everybody seemed to like. It, it, is, it involves no country, let's it's, put it that it's way. It's such a random <laughs> voice. How do you remember to go back? Because it takes like a few years to do something like that, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was a couple of, yeah, a couple of years. Every day for 10 no. hours. <laughs> wow, I thought they were easier it's than so that. It's so hard. Uh, yeah. it's, doing animation, as you know, yes. is very, very, it's very difficult, difficult. Because you have to actually go in and speak into a microphone. Oh, it's exhausting. Ah, how do people do it? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, um, but yeah, we they we all sort of agreed that that was that seemed kind of evil yet accessible. Uh huh. <laughs> accessible know. evil. Yeah. Um, and uh, do you do you ever? Because I went to go visit you on a lot. You're shooting this new, new movie right now, and uh, you've got the office, and you're you're just. I mean, do you do you understand? Do you like sit back and go, my life is just crazy that you're doing movies and television. You've got so many good things it's going on. We it's it's strange. I I would have never uh, expected any of this and you know you're always I'm always sort of waiting for the other shoe to drop I'm always always waiting for it to just go off the cliff and that's that'll be the end of it but uh, it's oh that would be fine because I just feel like I've been really lucky up until this well, point. Well, the so. thing about Steve is, you know, there are so many people in this business that aren't really what you see, and, and Steve is the nicest guy you will ever meet, ever know. He is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where am I moving out? Where am I... Um, <laughs> no, it was... That's, that's what we talked about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh... <laughs> Seriously, I just love this guy. He's so talented, and uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for letting me scare you.